Now that we understand that the 32-bit binary string is what the router and devices see, we have to also find a way to tell those devices which of those bits belong to the network and which of those bits belong to the host. Because if I just look at this number that we've presented up here at the top, if I just look at this alone, I have no idea which portion is the network and which portion is the host. How many bits belong to the network? How many belong to the host? Nothing tells me there. But let's use this subnet practice to help us out. It's given us an IP address of 196.146.83.107 slash 24. Yay! The slash 24 tells us that the first 24 bits of the IP address belong to the network. And it's telling us the last octet belong to the host. So we have network, 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 host. That's what we're looking at in this, in this example. How do we find the network address? Do you, do you remember? Our rule is you take all of the host bits and you make them a zero. So let's do that. If we use our chart as our last octet, that means zero goes in every place. So the decimal that we'll have is zero. We already established that the first three octets belong to the network. So what does that mean? That means they do not change. They remain the same. So that is why we can go ahead and write in the first three octets because that will be the same throughout that network. Our printer will have an IP address of 196.146.83. something. Our PCs that we have in the network, whatever device you can think of that needs to have an IP in order to work, if we've put it within this network, it starts the exact same way for each one. Now, Using our rule, change all the host bits to zero, our dotted decimal representation for our network address would also be zero. So our first available host that we can apply, say to our printer, is dot one. The l last available one would be the one right before the broadcast address because the very last address in our network is the broadcast address, which we do not apply to any device within our network. What's our rule for the broadcast? Our broadcast address rule is you change all the host bits to a one. So in this example, all the host bits are the entire eight bits of the last octet. If we add up the values 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1, we get 255. So if we know 255 is our last address, then 254 would be the last address that we can apply to a device. So let's check our work. Yes, we got them all correct. So how many total hosts are there available in a slash 24? There's a total of 256, but since we've already used the network address and the broadcast address because we cannot apply them to our host, it would be 256 minus 2 for a total of 254. We can have up to 254 devices in this network and have an IP address to apply to, the, to each device. 
So there's looking at an example of a mask of slash 24.